Hello everybody and welcome to another episode. In today's episode I'm going to show you how to remove the headlights from a Volkswagen Passat B7 from the year 2011 and up. So in the previous video I showed you guys how to remove the front bumper on this car and now in today's video I'm going to show you how to remove the headlights on this car. So to begin all you have to do you'll have to remove the front bumper and if you didn't uh, watch my previous video I recommend you guys to check the link in the description and watch the video before doing this because you won't be able to remove the headlights if you don't remove the bumper first. So as you can see, you'll have one bolt right here at the top and the other one right there inside the fender. Then you'll have one here, one bolt right here, and the other one is right here under the front bumper. And this is the most difficult bolt. You won't be able to remove the headlight because of this bolt. So this bolt is covered by the front bumper, and if you don't remove the front bumper, you won't have access to the bolt and you won't be able to remove the headlight from the car. And as you can see, it's exactly the same on each side. You'll have one bolt right here under the front headlight. You'll have one in the corner and two at the top. One in the fender and one over the headlight. As you can see, I didn't remove the front bumper completely. I only removed it and let it hang on the floor. And from here, I'm able to do my job and I'm able to remove the headlight very easy without having the need to remove the bumper completely from the car. I mean, it is completely removed, but it's not removed completely from the car because it's still connected to the wires. Okay guys, so as you can see, after you're done with removing all the bolts which are securing the headlight mounted on the car, you'll have to pull it out just a little bit and it's still connected to the connectors from behind. You'll have to disconnect the connector, the power supply from behind and after that you'll be able to remove it completely from the car. To disconnect it, you'll have to push the clip, don't, uh, don't break the clip, make sure you don't push too hard. If you can't uh, remove it by hand, you'll have to take a flat screwdriver and push the little plastic pin and after that it will release the connector from the headlight. And as you can see, this is how it's looking. This is how the connector is looking along with the headlight removed from the car. And from here, I'm able to do whatever I have to do with the headlight removed from the car. So this is the headlight from the right side. And if you want to do the exact same thing onto the other side, onto the driver side, you'll have to follow the exact same steps. So this is one place where the bolt goes in, this is the other place, then it's this one from the top and the last one is right here next to the fender. And also this is the connector. Make sure, like I told you at the beginning of this video, make sure to don't break the connector or the plastic clip which is holding the connector mounted on the headlight. And with the other headlight it is exactly the same. This is all you have to do. Thank you all for watching. If you liked this video and found it informative, please leave a like and a comment down below. See you next time.